So Riley, we're gonna go take you for a walk. All right. We're dog sitting and we kidnap the dog and we get paid for it. It's on that new app called Rova. So we're babysitting a dog, and her name's Riley. And so we're outside of the apartment complex, waiting for her to go get her deed on. But people around here, if you notice, don't like to pick up their own damn poop. I got proof. One big old poop. Two big old poop. I tell you, it's nasty. When you walk around here, you smell a whiff of shit. Come on, old girl. Your work. Oh, I do. Okay. <laughs> Today feels good. It's a nice day. Probably feels like around 70 some degrees or upper 60s. Today is not gonna be those crazy exciting days of adventure. It's one of those days we're just uh, cruise around. And then, of course, we have Riley, our new friend. So we started watching people's dogs on this app called um, Rover. Check it out, you get paid for it. And um, so uh, we got our first dog. Her name is Riley and she's a beagle. Right, Riley? Um, she's really cute. She's 12 years old, so she can't really play too much or walk too much, but... She's 13. She's 13. She's a doll. She's a doll. Let's go meet her right now. Say hi, Riley. Anywho. Uh, this is Riley. Um, but, yeah, we've been watching, hanging out with her. We can't afford time to spend, like, having our own pets. So, you know, we watch other people's pets. And when we watch other people's pets, we we'll also get paid for it. It's better than going on the kennels for, uh, you know, if you're a dog owner or a pet owner, because they get expensive. But anyway, I just wanted to introduce you to our buddy Riley here. She listens really well when I say come over or stand still, she will. Or stretch. Or lay there. Riley, lay. See? Look. She laying. She listens really well. But yeah, you guys. So um, that's it for now. Like you see the shine hitting my forehead. Look. <laughs> it's a lovely forehead, though. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm glad you can relate. Um. I don't know, there's no really 
I don't know. I don't know how to. How would I say this? I'm just gonna add freaking garlic in there. I don't. I'm not gonna wait or whatever. I don't know if people. I don't know if like people wait or whatever. And but I'm just gonna add my minced garlic in there. And you can never have too much garlic. You know. Bam. I like to put a little bit of brown sugar in mine. Brown sugar adds a little bit of sweetness into it. <laughs> Boom. I like to put my stuff away while I use it at the same time so that way uh, less stuff to put away you know now I'm gonna add uh, what is this all natural artesian artesian salt. Mediterranean, salt or something. Mediterranean salt salt you know you can do a little bit of taste tests in there uh, just in case if like you didn't put enough salt. I think it's time for me to add the onions. Cebollas. Cebollas. Cebolla. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic because I freaking love garlic. Boom. <clears throat> also, check this out. What I like to also do is. Oh, you're making frick. Anyway, garlic cloves. You put it in the oven, wrap it up in foil um, at 400 uh, degrees, and then. But you um, have a jar of that in there. I know. Are you doing it again? I'm just gonna show them how to do it. Oh, um, sorry. You need to say all that? Sorry. Yeah, I'm just messing around. Yeah, um, yeah so uh, uh, garlic clove, put it in the oven, and then you can you can bake garlic clove, and then when you're done with baking it, you can use it, uh, the each clove, on your toast and spread it on. It's freaking delicious. I already have some in a jar. I what Francis was saying. Right here. Healthy. Ooh, also, uh, what I like to do, spice it up a little bit and some hot sauce. We got this uh, hot sauce from the Philippines. It's called Mother's Best. See it? So I'm gonna put some spice in some of this. Don't put too much though, because this sucker is hot. Is it? It is. Is it? It is. I don't know if that homies like it spicy, but anyway, tomorrow we'll see the res uh, the result of the lumpia, and they're gonna be like, you didn't make this. Oh yes, I did. I have it on camera. I'm gonna crack some pepper in there. We don't have any pepper. Damn. <laughs> Psych. Do you think of paprika? Mm. I think I might put some paprika in there. Paprika. I don't know. You know, you just can be creative with your stuff. It doesn't hurt to be creative with your food. You know, put ingredients that you like, add it in there. And if it don't taste good, then you know not to put it in there again. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. I put too much. Sorry dudes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Paprika is hot, right? No. Oh. What does paprika do? Um, add a nice little flavor to it. I forgot to put the main secret 
ingredients which is um, oyster sauce wishy wishy mix the oyster sauce in there okay 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 so i got that mixed in there and then like oyster sauce already has like sodium in it um you might have to add more um salt but since it already has sodium in it we'll just do a taste test anyway it's hot bra Dude. Mm. Better. Now I'll pull a little bit more though. Mix it. And then I might add some more salt. There, that works. More hot sauce, because it's not even that spicy. Really? Truly. Stir, stir, stir. Get all the ingredients all up in there. Okay, all right, this is the Final taste test. Let's see if this bad boy is good. Hot though, last time I tried to freaking burn my tongue. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Mmm. I could eat that by itself with rice. Mmm. 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 Okay guys, now we're done with the um, uh, the main part of the lumpia, which is the, the inside of the lumpia is the meat. And that's perfectly seasoned. And uh, now it's time to wrap them bad boys up with the lumpia wrapper. Gotta get the plate. Wait, what happened to the lumpia wrappers? Mm -hmm. Oh. Right here. The hardest part of making a lumpia is actually the part where you wrap them. Oh yeah. <coughs> oh no! Wonder who's gonna be eating that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's why you always have to be iffy about when people make stuff. Yeah. Home and they bring it. Like, do they lick the frosting with their fingers? Things like that. Oh my gosh. Home cooked. I got a little bowl. <laughs> Put water in it so that when you wrap the lumpia, then you can seal it with uh, some water. So get that prepared too. All right. Now it's time to wrap, my friends. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wake up, Mickey. I can't wrap. Now it's time to get the lumpia in the wrapper. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. That's the way. <laughs> <laughs> Frick, I suck at wrapping. I like it. Two plates, man. One for the wrapping, rolling, rolling the lumpias, and uh, one for um, uh, the ones that are already rolled. Raw wrapped lumpias. So I think I'm gonna use this one for the rolling and this one for the, I don't know, putting the lumpias on. Cool. All right. First things first is you peel, you break the wrapper. This, damn it. Dang it. You peel. 
each one individually. You get about a spoonful of your beef, put it right there, and then you wrap it like a blunt. <laughs> Just kidding. Wrap it up. Boom.